Well, well, okay. well, look what we have here. We have royalty. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Look what the <laughs> cat brought in to this studio in South Africa. Where in South Africa are you? We're in Cape Town, sir. The finest place in the whole of Africa. I agree with you. I've been to a few places, and Cape Town is one of those great cities. And I don't even feel like we have to introduce you because your voice introduces itself. Well, I wouldn't mind you introducing me in case somebody hasn't heard me. Who is that fool on the other end of the line? That is the great Mr. William Shatner. And I, I, I wouldn't even want to call you by your first name, sir. It is, in fact, Sir William. Sounding very uh, regal, but appropriate. I like the sound of that. Could you call the Queen up and uh, <laughs> suggest that? <laughs> Make it official. Now, uh, Mr. Shatner, firstly, I must tell you that um, you were, I, I don't even know if you know this, but you were a huge part of um, South Africa and South Africa's, especially for me, my childhood, because I grew up in the sort of mid uh, to, to late 80s when I was about 10, 11 years of age. And the sound that used to strike fear into all us kids was it's rescue, 911. Oh my goodness, that's funny. <laughs> I haven't said those words in a long time. And we would watch that show and we would see these criminals breaking into houses and all these documented stories and it just scared the hell out of us. Story. There's a wonderful story about 911 because it saved a lot of lives, uh, the show Rescue 911. But the best story I can remember about 911 was a family in uh, in a in a house uh, some in we're in the country somewhere, and the woman, the wife, uh, got up in the middle of the night and complained to her husband. She had a headache, and it was really and I get me to the hospital. So he, they have three kids. They leave the three kids there. They get out of the house. They drive, they drive to the hospital. And the woman's complaining of this terrible headache. And they're sitting in the waiting room of the of the hospital. And the television set is on. And Rescue 911 is on. Mm. So they're waiting for the doctor to come. And she's got this headache. And, 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 the, and the show is about carbon monoxide gas. Yeah. And she says, my God, those are my symptoms. And our children are in the house. And they jump in the car and they race back and they save their kids. This show about carbon monoxide gas had saved uh, this family. No, I for sure. I mean, fun. you've been, I mean, one of your most recent great TV shows that I was all in was uh, Boston Legal. Now, you never saw one episode of Boston Legal. Is that, is that a fact? That's true, yeah. And why? I, 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 don't, I, I don't know why. I mean, I... Uh, I, when I was doing them, there was no point in seeing them. I was doing them, and then the then the show was canceled after almost five years, and I went on to other things. And I don't watch our television. I I just don't. Uh, even the, my uh, immediate family will say to me, "You should watch. You know, uh, what is it? Binge watch uh, such and such a series." Uh, that, but that's thirteen, twelve, thirteen hours. Yeah, yeah. So it take you two days, you know. Well, I don't want to spend my days doing that. I've got other things to do, man. Mr. Shatner, you say you like documentaries, so then you must be watching your latest series, The Unexplained, on the History Channel here in South Africa. Uh, it's part of Mystery Season DSTV Channel 186, and it starts Sunday, 24th of Jan at just before half past seven, 7.25. We can't wait to watch it. But well, it is an odd show, isn't it? You know, the, <laughs> you know, the strange things of, of, of the world. And we're living in strange right. times right now. Well, no. We have always lived in strange times. Human beings, human beings themselves are strange entities that have evolved from other strange... From the seeds of the universe that have arrived on Earth, we have evolved to be these beings these complex beings who would rather binge watch on television than <laughs> I, I uh, <laughs> we are we are mysterious entities human beings and we live in a constant question of uh, many 
what's it like when I die? What are other people watching us? Are they going? We live in a constant mystery of which the unexplained seeks to explore some of them. You have been dubbed the most inquisitive man in Hollywood. What a title! Yeah. Uh, and what's that. Your title? <laughs> <laughs> and then, Is it accurate? <laughs> I mean, we've just seen how many questions you can ask. So. And that includes your absolute fascination when it comes to extraterrestrials. Now, here's a question for you, sir. Does yeah. your show answer whether or not aliens have been visiting our planet? Because we want All to right. watch your uh, show for the answers, mm. sir. Do they exist? Will they exist? <clears throat> We've got that strange footage I'm sure you all saw from a Navy uh, airplane. Mm. You remember, have, you, have you seen that stuff? Is this Any, Area 51? Area 51 stuff. No, 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 no. There's some Navy pilots went up a couple of months, more than a couple of months ago. But sometime last year, there was these mysterious objects, these unexplained objects on radar. And the Navy pilots were scrambled, and they went up there, and they were on their radar. And they were whizzing around, and something the armed forces have never done before here in the States is they released the footage. Wow. And the footage is weird because things whiz by and they say, well, it's an anomaly on uh, electrical. Blah, blah. Mm. Mr. Shatner, with all due respect, yes. you're an entertainer. You have Never been seen. around forever. How much of the show is your razzmatazz? Because you could sell me anything, sir. You could sell milk to a cow. You could tell me no, anything no, no, today, no, no. and I would believe it because it's you. The bridge. There's a bridge I'd like to sell. <laughs> <laughs> How much? How <laughs> much? And you can take out a loan. Well, uh, okay, can, <laughs> can I just tell you something that Mr. Shatner has, has, has got a unique ability to sell stuff? Because while you say, Sibs, he can sell you, um, can, can sell cow to a milk, he can also sell <laughs> one of his, or whatever, or you can sell one of his kidney stones for 25,000 US dollars. No, That's a fact. No. <laughs> no. 75 a kidney stone. $75,000. Uh, Mr. William Shatner, you speak to scientists, historians, and first-hand witnesses, and you season, yes. you're a seasoned host. You've done this before. Does Do things still surprise you, or have you just been completely desensitized? My dogs, we were talking before we got on the air. The dogs are talking to each other. What the heck are they saying? <laughs> <laughs> what are they well, saying to each other? You can get a mood collar for your dog. Do you know that? You can, and it will tell you whether no. the dog's happy, sad. It's like a human mood ring, but it's a collar if for you a buy dog. That, if you buy a mood ring for your dog, I really do have a bridge to sell you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd rather take one of those planets that you dished out from your kidney. Um, a okay, kidney stone. So How did that happen? Stone. I have a. I'm a shooting uh, Boston Legal, and I, I have a kidney stone attack, and I take it to the hospital, and I pass this kidney stone, and uh, and it makes you know people. Oh, Shatner had a kidney stone, and, a, and it makes the news, and then I got a telephone call from a gambling casino, <laughs> a gambling uh, not casino, but a uh, an app that gambles yeah. that allows you to use your television set to gamble. And they're not allowed to advertise. So they do a lot of promotion. So they're the ones that bought a, a cheese sandwich that had the image of Christ on it. And they bought that for some money and, <laughs> and said, look what we got. They're the ones that the boxers wear uh, paint uh, of the name of the, of the place on their chest. So they called me up. They said, we'll buy your kidney stone. <laughs> And I said, okay, how much? Is said $25,000. So I said, no, I want $100,000. He said, well, we'll give you seventy five. So the cast of Boston Legal raised twenty five. I had the seventy five. We put together the $100,000. We gave it to uh, uh, Houses for hu Habitat for Humanity. They built a house with that money mm. in uh, Louisiana, southern part of the United States, where there had been floods and this family had lost their house. This family is living in a house 
that my kidney stone bought. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. How many people <laughs> can say that? Well, what do you think the, the price tag is on your on your toenail clippings? <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they mold. They, they mildew. Like toenail clippings mildew. And they don't last long. They're ephemeral. You've done the research. Like, 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 by the time I die, my, my, my toenail clippings will have gone with me. I don't know, but you know, body parts. I, I've threatened to, to sell body parts as I slowly, uh, as I slowly uh, uh, meld into the, uh, uh, into the universe. I would sell, you know, a finger, uh, a groin muscle, anything. That, uh, <laughs> uh, a groin muscle. Uh, <laughs> well, is it not using idea. it anymore? Yeah. What's the story, sir? What? What's the story? Well, people need to live, don't they? They need homes. And here I am. I can just spend. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much, sir. Bye bye. Thank, Thank, Thank you, Mr. Shatner. So, William Bye-bye. Shatner. <laughs> On KFM Mornings. Wow. Hey, I guys. feel like applauding. What a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! William Shatner, everybody. Woo!